So if you're thinking about buying a condo or townhome in the Las Vegas area. So I've talked about this before and I wanted to do a little bit more teaching today. So bring a little bit more value to you guys. Hey, my name is Eric. I'm here in the Las Vegas area teaching you guys everything to know about housing, living, loving and everything else in Las Vegas. And if you enjoy everything that you've been learning, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I have so much more to share with you guys. So today we're talking about uh, condos in the Las Vegas area mainly because as housing prices go up, more and more people are trying to find an alternative to, of course, the high prices that they're seeing in housing. So condos are less expensive than a single family home sometimes. Uh, they can be supplemented by the higher cost of the homeowners association, but in general, you can get into a condo cheaper. The problem is not every condo is allowed uh, for a FHA or VA loan. A bigger problem is the agents who are representing the sellers don't go through the proper processes to even find out and they'll put into the MLS that the seller is accepting a VA or FHA offer. So you go through all of this, you go around town, you're looking at homes, in this case condos, I'm gonna just use them synonymously for now. And let's say you find one you love, you put in an offer, you start up your entire process. So you've gone through this, you've done an inspection, they've ordered an appraisal. And by the time they've gone through all the widgets, your lender comes back with the bad news. Oh no! This condo isn't approved for VA or FHA financing, whichever one you're doing. You didn't just wasted your money on your appraisal. That's like 450 bucks. You've wasted 300 bucks on a inspection. And you're like, I just wasted 750 bucks of my time. Plus all this time looking at a condo, I cannot even purchase. Now, yes, there are ways around that still. Uh, they can do one-offs and everything like that, but not every lender can do it. Not every lender is willing to go through the processes. So you still may be stuck going out again. So what I want to do is show you how to do a backup because not every realtor you may be working with can do this. Now, I don't know what's going on in other markets. I can just talk about my market here, but this does work in every market. When I say I don't know about other markets, I'm talking about I don't know if every realtor out there who's listing a condo is going to actually go through all the steps to make sure that they're just not going, I want this listing real quick. So uh, uh, yeah, do you want cash? Of course you want cash. Uh, conventional? Everyone wants a conventional loan. And uh, you take VA and FHA. Th that, that's what most of them are doing, and they don't do any background checks. Then they just go skipping off and looking for the next deal. So... Let's go ahead and protect yourself. If your realtor's not doing this, you can back them up or her. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's take a quick look at the screen. I'm going to be blanking out a lot of stuff for you uh, purely because, you know, privacy issues, MLS, not supposed to be sharing too much data. So let's get to the screen. So just show you the differences in condos down here in the area i'm just gonna i'm gonna just limit it to the entire mls i'm not gonna go too deep so if we look at condos that are available like as of today of the recording there are 468 condos that are available for sale right now in southern nevada which concludes all the way down to prompt everything else so okay well how many of them will allow for financing with v8 and fha well, let's go see. Let's go ahead and put that in, FHA and VA. Now we're down to, so about half. Are half really available? Well, right now we can't uh, see, but uh, let's go ahead and find out. Gonna do a little test. So let's just go to these condos and take a look. So we're just going to look at a random condo out there. 
I'm gonna go randomize them. Bada bada, eat a mini mini mo, and we'll just pick this one. Remember, we're gonna kind of blank out a few little things here, and we're gonna go find out. So according to this, they're taking FHA and VA. Well, how are we gonna check that? Do we really know? Well, you're gonna be able to find out their uh, status as far as what HOA they're a member of. So according to this, now it does get a little tricky sometimes because it says under the subdivision, they've got this and under the association. Well, this time it's a little bit different. It shows they're both the same. So I'm just gonna use an example here. All you gotta do is go to Google. It's a magical thing, Google. Just go to Google. Uh, type in VA approved condos or you type in FHA approved condo. Now, you're gonna to wanna to go to a .gov site in both cases. It's usually gonna be the first one. Uh, sometimes be careful when you go down uh, too deep because some of them are actually uh, people like, uh, you know what, I don't wanna put out anybody's uh, free advertisement site you need to go to, okay? The approved site. So FHA is run by Housing and Urban Development, so HUD. VA.gov. In this case, I don't think I'm giving too much away. This one says it's in Trilogy. I'm sorry, Tripoli. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to put in the name. Let's just use this for VA. And I'm going to go down to the state and I'm going to hit a submit. And look at here. It's been accepted without conditions. That means it is actually approved for VA financing. Let's check for, uh, let's see here, FHA. And whoa, look at that. Look at that. The approval has expired back in 2011. Bing. So it's not approved for FHA. It is approved for VA, and they actually did a reinspection in 2020. But what does it show here? FHA, VA. So we're blanking a lot of this out to uh, protect the innocent. But you could have gone in there looking for an FHA approved condo and been completely jacked up and used up a bunch of your money for no reason. You need to protect yourself by doing these uh, things or show your realtor if they don't know how. And this, it doesn't matter if you're in Kalamazoo or Los Angeles you can do this and it is a common thing because a lot of real estate agents, they just want to burn, turn and burn, go to the next one, go to the next one, go to the next one. And they're not looking at this and they're hoping that whatever realtor is going to bring it, it them, the deal is going to look at this stuff. Not every realtor is going to look at this stuff. So just putting it out there, ask your realtor before they take you to a FHA or VA condo, check it yourself. Uh, the info is out there. I know you want to rely on your realtor, but do you want to waste your day? Remember, a man once said, you can take my money, don't take my time, because I can make my money back. You waste my time, I will never get that back for the rest of my life. Okay? So, hope you haven't wasted your time today. Hit that subscribe button. I got more videos for you guys to watch. Boom. FHA approved. Oh no! <sighs> call from Hello? Attention, this is not a sales call. Uh -huh. If you or a loved one used the heartburn medication Xanthan and call. was diagnosed with cancer, you may qualify for compensation now. Again, if you used the medication Xanthan and developed bladder, colon, breast, 
intestinal, or any other cancers after using the medication, please press 1 now to see if you may qualify for compensation. Or press... Your call is being transferred with no wait. Thank you for calling. Currently, all of our specialists are assisting other individuals Should to I, file a or claim. I need to get done with this? If you wish to file a claim against Almiron, Paraquip... I don't have time. All this is is just a, a fishing call. <laughs>